There is another way in which you could organize the definition of your function. Start by defining plus 10 with an argument of a and a colon. On the next line, instead of directly returning the value of a plus 10, another variable can be created inside the function to carry that value. I will use the name result here. I will assign it with the desired value of a plus 10. Let's check what we just did. If I execute the code in the cell, I will get nothing. Why? Because of this moment, I have only declared the variable result in the body of our function. Naturally, to obtain the desired outcome, I will also have to return that variable. See? When I call plus 10 with an argument of 2, I obtain 12. It is all fine again. Print takes a statement or better, an object, and provides it printed representation in the output cell. It just makes a certain statement visible to the programmer. A good reason to do that would be when you have a huge amount of code and you want to see the intermediary steps of your program printed out, so you can follow the control flow. Otherwise, print does not affect the calculation of the output. Differently, return does not visualize the output. It specifies what a certain function is supposed to give back. It's important you understand what each of the two keywords does. This will help you a great deal when working with functions. The following could be helpful. Let the same function also print out the statement outcome. If we put down only return outcome and then return result, what will we get when we call the function? just the first object to return, the statement outcome. If, instead, we print the statement and then return result, we will get what we wanted, the outcome statement and the result of the calculation, 12. This was to show you we can return only a single result out of a function. This will do for now. Thank you for watching.